Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, fighting out of the red corner, Devere Peterson. So Devere Peterson comes to us, Christian, out of legendary Maxim Gym. Yeah, we saw him here at EFN 20. He looked really good against J Jacob Chuska, who's a really tough guy. Devere came out. He was not at all intimidated by the moment. We've talked about it earlier. Coming from a gym that has other fighters on the card, it really does make a difference. His teammate won half of the main event, Volandi Atsas. Maxim Jim has got just a whole slew of up-and-comers, and Devere Blood, Blood Drip Peterson is one of them. Really excited to see how that fast turnaround treats him coming in here at EFN 21. Yeah, you got, like you said, out of Maxim Jim, Armando Reyna. I mean, he's, he's a former uh, Miguel Torres guy. He was an instructor at Miguel Torres, a uh, Car Carlson Gracie guy. Um, outstanding Jim. The, the, the knowledge that he possesses is... Unbelievable, but Devere making his debut in 723 or seven of, of 2023. It's a pretty quick turnaround. So I mean, he's he's active. He's in the gym, being that active and, and that hungry to fight. That says a lot. You know, when we saw it in that fight at EFN 20, he, you know, for a debuting fighter at the time, it was a really gutsy performance because Jacob Juska came out and gave him about everything he could handle early on. But it was Devere that kind of endured the moment kept moving forward and it was it was employing his game plan when he was able to do so that got him the win and we'll see I mean if tonight you know there was a real evolution or if it's just gonna be more of the same a quick turnaround can mean I'm just gonna go out there and try to do the same thing or maybe just maybe there's more that he didn't get to show in that debut we'll see it tonight sure I, I'm sure he's got a skill set that's far beyond what he actually showed that night coming from a, a gym with Armando Reyna um, I mean, just watching that guy do pad work with some of his guys and, and some of the ground game and just the knowledge that he has of the, of the game in general, I feel like he does a very good job of passing that along to his students. Devere mentioned that that fight he had against Juice Guy, for him, mentally it went by so fast, and he said he learned from that to be able to honestly listen to your corner and do whatever you can to just block out all the other noise. One of the things he mentioned he's been working on is he has a tendency to overthink. So we'll see that. We'll see how that comes out tonight. And, and one of the things you may see as you watch him fight is him actually looking at his corner during the fight. He talked about this difference between being able to better focus, you know, even if you're not supposed to look in that direction. Right. But he can hear when he see, you know, one of those kinds of situations. Sure, yeah, going go to the overthinking. I mean, sometimes you're inside that cage. Things happen so fast. If you think, time's gone. You, you don't have the time to think. It's, it's got to be a reaction. It's got to be a muscle memory. So a lot of times, yeah, you're, you, every once in a while, you get a little bit of time to sit and kind of think about things. But it's very high pace, very fast moving. And everything needs to be off of reaction. And as time progresses, you only become more in tune with your coaches. So we'll see, you know, like you said, that wealth of experience in Armando Reyna in his corner, how it plays out tonight. And now, let's welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, Armando Zamora. So Armando Zamora comes to us kind of, you know, a little bit of as an, as an unknown, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, he comes to us out of a spy, Fight Spot Dojo. He's coming to us out in, in Michigan. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's something to be said for a fighter that's willing to step into, you know, he's unknown to us just like we're unknown to him. He's willing to step in against somebody like Peterson and see, this is what I have to offer, and let's see what you're going to do about it. You know, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how he debuts himself to the fans tonight. Yeah, it takes it takes an interesting person to, to take that leap and, and jump in there. Take a look at the bird's hot chicken tail of the tape. Devere comes to us out of Laporte, Indiana. Armando Zamora, Holland, Michigan. Big guys here in this catchweight bout, but they're both they're heavy, right? 225 pounds. We talked about the debut victory for Peterson over Jacob Juska. Zamora here in his debut himself. I think what you're going to find here in this fight is one guy with the one one fight under his belt who we talked about the trying to overcome the overthinking going up against someone he doesn't know about. So this will be an interesting, I think, fight to see play out. How does Devere take what he knows he's trying to work on against an element that I think forces you to have to think, right? right Which is right. you don't know your into opponent. A, into an unknown, exactly. You know, we, we, we don't know we don't know what Armando's going to bring to the table. I mean, he, he could be an outstanding striker. He could be an outstanding grappler. He could just be an outstanding everywhere. 
We don't know. He doesn't know. None of us. None of us know. But I, we're. I think got a feeling we're fixing to find out. Speaking of, may, may he be an outstanding striker? Devere also mentioned in his training he's been working a lot more on his own striking. He feels good about the jiu-jitsu side of it, but he's been cleaning up and sharpening the striking. So we'll see if we get some fist thrown. I'm sure there's going to be some fist thrown <laughs> from both guys here. <laughs> As Zamora enters the cage, this fight is brought to you by Bird's Hot Chicken. Bird's Hot Chicken, comfort food with a California twist. Let's send it up to Mike Vale in the cage for the introductions. Let's get the action started. Our next bout is in the heavyweight division, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the Bird's Hot Chicken red corner. He stands six feet, two inches tall, official weight, 224.8 pounds. Representing Maxim Jim from the Port Indiana, please welcome Devin Peterson. And now let's welcome his opponent, fighting out of the Goji Resistance Apparel Blue Corner. He stands six feet, one inches tall, official weight, 225.3 pounds. Representing Fight Stop Dojo from Holland, Michigan, please welcome Armando Zamora. The referee in charge, Rob Madrigal. Referee Rob Madrigal on the call or officiating this one. And here we go, fighters square off. Oh, and there was going to be no touching of the gloves for Tavair <laughs> Blood Drip Peterson. There. Oh, a beautiful lead leg head kick. And he's going for blood right away. 